everybody, Thomas Vanderkin from the Vanderkinverse. Back again, I got a comparison video I'm gonna do between the Lenovo Chromebook, uh, Chromebook Duet and the Lenovo Windows Duet 3i. Okay, so I've gotten a lot of requests on the YouTube page uh, and via LinkedIn to for more information on both of these products. So if you remember this one I reviewed at the beach, uh, said I would do a follow-up video on. This one I reviewed a little while ago. So this is, these are two in some ways very similar products. So it's really fascinating to see what the differences are between this uh, about $250 Chromebook Duet and this about $500 Windows uh, Duet device. So. Um, First of all, just for fun, I do have this one plugged in to our um, mobile monitor, the 14 inch, just so you can see it a little bit better. I was thrilled that it works fine on both. I can move it between the two. Uh, you can plug in the monitor here and then with the cable, charge the device. So it works really slick, so I keep it set up like that with dual monitors on this. Uh, some really interesting uh, advantages of the Windows device. Um, it comes with a pen, of course. There's a couple different options you can get of this one. It's either a Celeron uh, 4000 processor or a Pentium 5000, which is what this one is. Uh, it can go with four gig or eight gig and 64, 128. So this is the highest end one, which is the uh, Pentium eight gig, 128 gig, eight gig memory, 128 gigs uh, solid state drive. Uh, and it, from what I've read online, the the Celeron one really struggles uh, a lot um, with some applications beyond the really basic ones. But I've been incredibly delighted and surprised with how much I really like this device. So it comes with the keyboard, which is detachable, which of course you expected, like the um, Surface Go 2, which people are probably considering. This one does come with Windows Pro, which is amazing. The Surface Pro only comes with Windows 10S, so with 10S you can only run uh, apps out of the App Store. This one comes with um, on a low-end version uh, 10s, but a free upgrade to Home. Uh, this one comes with Pro, so you can run all the apps on it. Really interestingly, this one they put a little battery in here and an uh, option to turn on uh, Bluetooth, so you can actually uh, control the laptop when it's not connected. That's a really interesting feature that I didn't know I'd like as much as I did. So if you're in a really tight space, you can run uh, all the, uh, you can put this on your lap, have this set up on a table, and run the device separately. It's really, really uh, good design point that uh, Lenovo came up with there. Uh, but of course it snaps on really easily and securely. Another thing I found that I really like, I'm gonna disconnect this a second, uh, is how versatile this back uh, stand is. So it opens up like this for sitting down on the table or on your lap but it can go all the way up to this angle, which is fantastic. So if I'm laying down, uh, playing games, um, you know, I can have it kind of on my knees, just at whatever angle I want, controlling it from the back here. So uh, really, really impressed and surprised how much I like this um, kind of $500 Windows tablet device. Um, one thing to be on the lookout for I'm really excited about LTE is coming to this also. So you'll be able to get this connected uh, onto any carrier um, with LTE coming soon, if not out already. So that's that device. But let's talk about this Chromebook Duet too. So it is similar in a lot of ways. Both have a 10.1 inch screen. Uh, both are the same resolution. Um, but of course in Chrome, a lot of the apps that you might use on a regular basis are going to be optimized and run even faster on this $250 laptop. So if you're using uh, YouTube, surfing the internet, uh, there's an app for YouTube or you can, um, you know, run it in Windows, but they run better on here. So you can't play on this Windows device, uh, Fortnite or that kind of, you know, it's going to run great. Office apps run great, uh, Excel, PowerPoint, Word, no problem. Uh, any casual web surfing is going to work great. This one um, is a Chrome device, has a MediaTek processor, uh, 4 gig of memory, 64 gig hard uh, solid state drive, um, but really runs well. Uh, again, 
has the snap on back. The back has the same kind of flexibility as the other one, as the Windows device, both Duet, uh, both of these pogo pin connectors. This one um, does not have the Bluetooth um, capability, so it's not going to work disconnected. Uh, but of course it just snaps on in a very similar way. So depending on what you want, if you need a Windows device, this is a great solution at a great price. And the keyboard is fantastic. So that's the big advantage of it. If you really got to type and do some work, this is going to be much better than the Surface Go which is 2, which is its prime competitor in the Windows space. This one for a Chromebook, amazing functionality. Works great as a tablet. Back comes off. So if you remove this, you know, this is a really thin and light solution. Uh, power button, volume rocker, um, USB-C charging, dual speakers. Uh, great solution uh, for any Chrome or kind of uh, casual device with, and gets has this cool capability. Um, another advantage is these both come with the tablet uh, keyboard included. This one is optional if you get the one with the pen. Mine did come with the pen. Not a big user of that, uh, but it is a, a touch capacitive pen with the Windows one. So that's it. I'm wrapping it up. Hopefully that was helpful. Um, appreciate everybody taking the time to watch, and uh, catch you next time. Thanks, everybody.